so um, in the previous class we had uh, discussed the movement of an object uh, which has been thrown straight upwards uh, we call it as a projectile and the analysis of it is what happens in projectile motion um, in this case we are only interested in the object going straight up and coming back down so let's say that somebody threw up an object with a speed of 40 meters per second in the upward direction then we realize that the object because the acceleration due to gravity which we usually put as g is 10 meters per second square so it's going to drop 10 meters per second every second so it's going to take four seconds to reach the highest point and then another four seconds to come back to the same height the surprising thing about it is with just these two pieces of information we can predict quite a lot about what happens like say for example we can say that when the object comes back to the same position uh, provided the air resistance is negligible then it's going to have a velocity of 40 meters per second but in the opposite direction now let's consider uh, for example taking the highest point over here at 4 seconds and then the object drops from there essentially its velocity is 0 meters per second there and then it starts falling only under the influence of gravity so with each subsequent second that it falls what is the distance that it is covering so that's the question we are trying to answer okay and this is investigative uh, let us work together on it try to find out how can we figure this out okay so take the situation uh, we are back to the chalk cliffs of dover if you like and uh, right at the top of the cliff somebody drops a ball um, and as the dr uh, ball drops um, let's say that there is a sort of tiny little timer on it and uh, that tiny little timer shows you the time so this is t is equal to 1 second and as the object falls over here the timer has moved to 1 second so t sorry this we'll keep it as 0 seconds this is time t is equal to 1 second and over here the timer reads 2 so time t is equal to 2 seconds and over here it's time t is equal to 3 seconds now the question that we are trying to answer over here is what uh, is the distance that the object falls between these two points or uh, for that matter we should probably start first with this one uh, s what is it so make your contributions uh, start telling us how will you find out okay what is the what information you know already and uh, with that information how can you guess predict calculate the answer correct answer to this question so uh, yes one of the uh, most common answers uh, mind you i changed the s to d over here because it was confusing people so distance that the object has fallen in the first one second so when the object passes through this point at time t is equal to one second it's of course tempting to say that d is equal to 10 meters okay now that happens to be the wrong answer but i would like to hear why because it's obvious uh, maybe maybe first thing is that people can answer why they think it is 10 meters let's start with that why do you think it is 10 meters Sir, yeah. Because sir, uh, this thing itself is saying that gravity is ten meters per second. So each second it's traveling ten meters. Uh, well, well, well. Acceleration. Go slow over there. Okay, it's correct that the value of acceleration due to gravity is ten meters, not per second. Ten meters per second squared. Second per second. Squared. Okay. What does that mean? That means that oh, the yeah. object is increasing its velocity at the rate of 10 meters per second every second. Okay, so that's all right. In, in this entire situation, uh, acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second. This is what is applicable as the acceleration due to gravity. Now, critically, what I would like to ask, maybe you got the answer from thinking like this. What was the velocity at t is equal to 0 second of the object 
could you repeat the velocity part i didn't hear you yeah i was just asking what is the velocity of the object at t is equal to 0 second that means when the person just left the ball 0 meters per second sorry 0 meters per second 0 meters per second right so what is the velocity still have yes. so i i keep that as uh, v0 what is the velocity at v1 that is at time t is equal to 1 second 10 meters per second 10 meters per second 10 meters per second correct now yes. the fact that the object is traveling at 10 meters per second seems to confirm the the answer that the distance it fell therefore has to be 10 meters per second right because if an object is moving at 10 meters per second that means it covers 10 meters per second so therefore the answer must be 10 meters but then we are forgetting something what is it that we are forgetting it's not moving at acceleration acceleration and what what is it about acceleration that we are forgetting that it's accelerating every every instant that it is accelerating yeah, every it's instant like it's like the distance can keep increasing it's a instant every, instant things the distance will keep basically, increasing basically i every think ha huh? basically it will be like at one second it will be like one and then two pair will be like uh, one pair will be like 10 10 meters and second pair will be like 20 meters like yeah that that we know because uh, of course we can keep extending this yeah. we can write that v2 is equal to 20 meters per second right so should we then say that the distance so d1 is 10 meters per second and d2 is 20 meters per second uh, sorry 20 meters so v3 is 30 meters per second so therefore d3 is 30 meters it is it is increasing what is the problem there sir but acceleration is increasing the speed of the ball is increasing by 10 meters yeah. per second square every second right yeah so the distance it travels can't be same every second it's hey. not na i said it it's not... first first wale yeah. block makes 1 10 yes. and then second wale makes 20 third wale makes 30 no wait it is increasing okay what is the critical error over here but it can't increase with the same this thing see when you are saying in second wire is 20 it means till 0 to 20 0 seconds to 2 seconds it's it has traveled 20 right but if that's the case then every no 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 no, no, uh, no. looking at the diagram correctly from 1 second to 2 second it has traveled 20 that's what i'm saying going by the old argument the argument that if the object is moving at time t is equal to 1 second at 10 meters per second then that means that it will cover 10 meters in that 1 second prior to that okay so i will tell you what is the what is the problem yeah. with this argument the problem with this argument is that at t is equal to 1 second the object was moving at 10 meters per second momentarily what was its velocity prior to that somewhere let's say in between was it 5 less than 10 greater than 5 meters per second no i am not saying less, right at the midpoint in between here anywhere here less than so less than 10 less than 10 so if an object has been moving yeah. at less than 10 meters per second falling through here how can it cover 10 meters at the end of it that's just mathematically not possible because the object attained the velocity yeah. of 10 meters per second only at time t is equal to 1 second from there if it had gone at a uniform speed of 10 meters per second then it will cover 10 meters so therefore all we can say right now is the distance that this object had fallen in the first 1 second is somewhere between 0 and 10 meters that's all we can say how how we can figure out what exactly it is and what gives us the clue that we will think about in the next class